one of the very favorite question of the examiners in the thyroid case is why thyroid swelling moves with degradation there are basically six different reasons why thyroid moves with degradation in this video we will see all those six reasons thyroid swelling is confirmed by its movement during degradation a key diagnostic feature often noted in the physical examination the thyroid gland is enclosed by the pretracheal fascia a layer of connective tissue with specific attachments these attachments ensure that when larynx and cricoid cartilage move during swallowing the thyroid gland moves as well so the first reason is inferior constrictor muscle inferior constrictor muscle has two parts the cricopharyngeus and thyropharyngeus when the thyropharyngeus moves up during degradation it moves the thyroid cartilage causing the thyroid gland to move due to its attachment to the trachea and cricoid cartilage which play significant role in swallowing second reason is the ligament of berry the pretracheal fascia is condensed posterior medially to form the ligament of berry which is attached above to the cricoid cartilage this fascia is also attached to the trachea and larynx during deglutition the up and down movement of the larynx and cricoid cartilage causes the thyroid to move third reason is the fascial condensation the thyroid gland is in close relationship to the larynx where two structures first is the ligament of berry and second is the fascial condensation of the investing layer of deep cervical fascia also known as pretracheal layer of deep cervical fascia so because of this also thyroid moves with degradation fourth reason is the hyoid bone and muscles the thyroid gland is connected to the hyoid bone and the surrounding muscles assisting its upward movements during swallowing fifth reason is the stomach and tracheal attachment the stomach of the thyroid has direct attachment to the trachea so during degradation the trachea moves along with that the thyroid gland also moves sixth reason is the pyramidal lobe or the thyroglossal tract sometimes a pyramidal lobe or thyroglossal tract attaches the stomach to the hyoid bone during degradation the movement of the tongue and hyoid bone move contributing to the movement of the thyroid gland now let's see other swellings which also moves with degradation not only the thyroid swelling here are the few other examples like thyroglossal cyst subhyoid bursitis prelaryngeal or pretracheal lymph nodes and laryngocils these swellings also move due to their connection to the larynx and trachea but wait not all thyroid swelling move with degradation there are certain conditions where the thyroid swelling might not move with swallowing examples are carcinoma of thyroid especially with the extensive local infiltration into the surrounding tissue second is the intrathoracic retroesternal extension with the infiltration and impaction riddle's thyroiditis also does not move because of the encasement of the trachea if there is massive thyroid enlargement making the movement difficult so the thyroid may not be observed as moving previous surgery leading to fixation and fibrosis also lead to non movement apart from that retroesternal goiter which may not show movement due to its position i hope this video was very useful for you do share with your other friends so that they also can answer correctly during the examination and for more such videos like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much